I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Mm, howdy, can y'all hear me? I know I always ask that. It's the same thing every time. Oh, you have tea, very good. You can't hear me. Oh no. Um, okay, let's see. Maybe, uh, oh, you can hear me. Okay, good. Okay, good, good. And everyone has their tea. Well, at least you have your tea, Jane. Um, and, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I'm a little behind today, but I'm, I'm catching up. So, um, let's see. <laughs> You're just picking on me. Okay, that's fine. Um, it's all good. I'll just have some of this blue stuff. Mm. Cool. Well, I think I've, I've got my ears um, and I've got my game. So I'm going to switch over here. And uh, oh, it says it says I'll start streaming at six. Sure. I'll totally do that. I'm going to get rid of that because um, I, it's a lie. It's a lie. First, I'm going to show you my snack because I have a snack for tonight. I went to our local um, I went to our local bakery and I got this fine fellow who will be my um, co-pilot in the game tonight until I get hungry. And then look out. Ang, 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 ang. So he's very cute and, uh, and he already looks a little worried though. <laughs> so there's that. Um, woo, tasty food. Otherwise, um, let's see. Oh, I, I guess I should still introduce myself. I'm Kaya Folio. I know you guys know, but I'll say it anyway. I'm Kaya Folio. I am one of the um, creators of the Girl Genius series of comics and novels. And now there is a video game, which is what I will be playing tonight and what I have been playing for the last several weeks. Um, tonight, I'm kind of guessing that we'll finish up the game, um, unless I'm really, really slow, which could also happen. Um, I'm not really sure how easy that final boss is going to be for me. I know I had to do it a few times when I did my first playthrough, and I have only done one actual full playthrough. Uh, so... Hmm. You know, I hope y'all brought your patience because um, I am probably gonna have to try a few, a few several many times <laughs> to to beat Zola, uh, which is fine because it means that Zola has a chance to make fun of me in various ways, and the writers really did absolutely go ham with uh, with making Zola tease you uh, when, when you have a, a death, and then and then Zola is mean to you, so it, it makes you want to knock her down even harder. So let's see. Oh yes, we are missing one of the backer paintings. Uh, and even um, if I beat the final boss, it's fine because there's actually stuff after the fo final boss. And um, we, so if we, if I manage to beat Zola proper, like, am I right? Am I yours? There, okay. I wonder if they'll stay on this time. I did try to charge them. I think they're okay now. There, my ears are lit, yay. Um, so let's see. Um, yeah, we have. Let's see. We got all the dingbots, which is is good. Uh, there's one painting missing. Um, I, I think that's about it, actually. I'm not really sure if I want to go try to do all of the achievements um, on camera because some of them are. Well, there's one that I just haven't even managed to get. Um, aside from the beat the whole thing on hard mode, which I may never get uh, because the um, hard mode definitely requires you to be better at jumping and getting out of the way at the right moment than I will ever be. So um, I can I can hope. Um, yeah, we don't have all the artifacts either. You're right. Uh, we do have the one more. Um, we have the, if nothing else, the one that you get for beating the entire arena. Oof, and doing that is really hard. I actually did do that in my other game, but I had to sit there while I was on the phone with my mom and just retry the last one over and over and over and over again until I finally got lucky. So uh, that was probably a really weird conversation from the, my mom's end, but um, yeah. So Phil and I went down to Portland uh, this last weekend and 
Uh, we did a, the first Magic the Gathering event that I have done in 15 to 20 years. I'm not really sure when the last Magic event I went to was, but it was long, long, long ago. Um, I've been out of that world for so long, but um, you know, some folks know, some folks don't. When I got out of college, the first real job I had uh, in the art anyway not I mean I, I worked at Joanne Fabrics for a while but um, but the first real art job that I had was paintings for Magic the Gathering the the trading card game that uh, preceded Pokemon and sort of brought that all upon the world and uh, and it was a really wild time and it was a heck of a thing to be involved in uh, right out of the start right out of college like here you go um get to work uh, suddenly everybody's looking at your artwork whether you like it or not uh, and i really feel like the art i did back then some of it i'm very pleased with and some of it i'm like oh. <laughs> yeah yep yeah, there there that sure exists and but people were so nice this last weekend um uh, some of my cards uh are very popular because the card is very powerful which has nothing to do with my painting. But, you know, people are like, oh, no, I like the art. And I'm like, oh, they're so nice. That's wonderful. Um, so that um, was fun and exhausting. And I think I might have picked up a cold, but eh, whatever. Uh, and it, it did actually give us, um, you know, we, we did make a enough money at it that we will probably do a couple more um, and in the next year or two uh, which is nice because we have been out of it for so long that you know people have all their cards they want signed and that's good so uh, so that was good that was good and it was it was helpful and, and it was interesting and I did not make it to see the troll that is down there uh, the the troll artwork, um, the Way of the Bird King piece, um, they have one of these big, beautiful wooden trolls down there, and by the time we got out of the convention, it would have been a half an hour south and a half an hour back, in addition to the several hours to drive back to Seattle, and I just was like... I just can't, I just want to go home. So we just went north and uh, so that's kind of too bad, but um, yeah, uh, you've been working on the Zola plant. See, I got past that, right? I, I did, I had one during beta where the, I was fighting the plant and Zola wouldn't show up. They fixed that, It was, it, but it, it was a glitch and you would be just, dancing around and the plant would be trying to hit you and Zola just never showed up except for the very beginning when she would show up and mock you and then leave and uh, they, they, that's long fixed but uh, it was kind of funny you just had to let the plant kill you and then not go back in <laughs> um, yeah she, she just left without me so I will get started um, let me get the okay so the first thing I have to do is get the game going because my program won't actually talk to oh patch notes oh that's nice there are patch notes uh, well I, I'm not going to bother with that right now let's let's just start it up and then I have to remember to hit main game uh, uh oh, that's not good. Hold on. Um, the game has opened on the wrong. All right, right. Exit. It opened on the wrong. Um, okay. It opened on the wrong screen. I have three screens. It's doing it again. Ugh. All right. You'll just have to bear with me for a minute. Uh, I don't want it on display three. I want it over here. Ugh. For two. And of course it's full screen, so I can't just drag it over. Uh, uh, let me see if I can, I'll say, come on. Uh, windowed, let's put it windowed. And now I'll drag it over. All right, I'm going to hit main game. And then I have to tell it, um, come on, I have to say no, you need to 
goodness knows what it's showing you right now. Uh, there. All right, so here I am. Now, that's better. Thank you. Ooh. All right. Now, I've got my little red controller. My little red controller is not currently, there we go. Uh-oh. I have been playing, I did fire up uh, Tears of the Kingdom, The Legend of Zelda. And uh, and so now my, my fingers are wanting to push buttons in a different way. So in addition to my having a hard time with the final boss in this, now I'm, I'm going to have trouble because I'm, I've been pushing buttons that mean different things. The Nintendo Switch has has different button layout than my, my little uh, Xbox controller here. <laughs> um, I ha <clears throat> have I played any other Rain Games titles? Oh no, you're gonna make me uh, you're going to make me fess up. So I started playing Tesla Grad a while back, and I got busy, and I didn't um, keep going on it. And so I, I thought I might actually do a little of that. Um, we'll see uh, what I can do. Uh, I don't actually know, and so I, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I've been really busy. I haven't been playing anything. Uh, I I do log on to World of Warcraft once a month to uh, get my uh, get my tendies from the um, from the trading post, <laughs> but otherwise I'm like, no, oh, no. Um, let's see. Uh, so let me. Let me just uh, start up. Let me start it up and try not to push the wrong buttons. Oh no. Um, oh no, it, it's, it's fine. I just think it's funny that I'm like, oh, I, I've, I'm so embarrassed. I should have played it ages ago. Because I did start and it was really fun. It's more of a, uh, Tesla Grad was more of a side scroller. I haven't tried Tesla Grad 2 yet, so I don't actually know. Um, but uh, Tesla Grad One was a side scroller, and it had some button, uh, some some bullet hell elements, if I remember right. And I remember that I was not very good at it. <laughs> but I'm not very good at anything that requires precision. Uh, so yeah, this one's nice that it has lots of um, it has it has levels of ability, and this one we're doing on normal. So here we are. Um, hello. Oh no, I pushed the wrong button. See? Uh, there I go. Okay, now push the right button. Uh, so, alright, for that, I'm, I'm already gonna attack my poor little, my poor little guy here. I'm sorry. I feel guilty. He's so cute. Ow. <laughs> okay. Mmm. So... I'm trying to remember what I was thinking I was going to do last time. I think I was like, oh, I'll go look for that other, um, that other portrait. But um, let's, let's see, how many... Um, I'm not sure what I want to do. Uh, I need a, a recall. I need a get back to... Get back to the hub quickly. Oh! Oh! I didn't know I could... Uh, now, that was not necessary. <laughs> Why did I do that? Um, oh, this is because I think I'm swinging the Master Sword. I'm hitting the wrong button. I'm sitting here pushing X, thinking I'm I'm swinging the Master Sword, and I'm, I'm failing to uh, hit anything. There we go. <laughs> No. Oh yeah, well you probably you guys so here's the thing that I know about <laughs> here's the thing that I know about watching other people play games. It can get really, really frustrating when they're obviously being a great big dope. And uh, I mean it's pretty in here at least. Yeah. Uh, I love this door. I, I love this big door with the guys. It's it's very nice. Um, so yeah, here's the heart. Let's see, we got these guys. I think we got all the portraits in here. Uh, we do have a, um, on the map, we can see if there are artifacts, uh, 
and if we have got them, uh, let's see if I can find a place where there are artifacts that I haven't got. Ground floor. Castle. Um, hmm. So if you look on the um, over on the right where there's a little shiny trilobite and it says artifacts, um, that's uh, gonna let me know if I've missed any. And, oh, there we go. So in the arena, I am missing. There is an artifact to be had. Uh, but we knew that already. Uh, but what I need is a portrait one. I need one that's, oh, look, there's another, there's, oh, there's an artifact in the beast pens. I thought I got that one. Well, what do you know? Well, if I didn't get the one in the beast pens, I wonder if I got the portrait in there. Because there is a portrait that you have to kind of you have to kind of go around and um well i don't know let's go check out the beast pens um if i can find my way out how do i get out how do i get back do i, I you know if i go i just came from there hmm. well oh well i'm glad you made it and uh, and welcome yeah, um, let's see, I, <laughs> I was pretty late today too, actually. I like to kind of, yeek, uh, I like to get my, uh, all the stream stuff set up about a half an hour before so that I can start poking around and talking early. And today I was like, oh no. And then I look over and I realize that I don't have my mi microphone plugged in and I haven't dug out my, um. Uh, my cable for my headphones and I'm like ah. so I was watching um, I was watching someone on YouTube talk about talk about Paul Lind who is um, an old actor from the 70s and and before he was on Bewitched and um, he, you know I, I so I have several people from that point in my life where their voices are like the ancient voices from the before time. Um, you know, obviously, um, you know, uh, Jim Henson is one of them. Uh, uh, Paul Lind uh, was definitely one of them, and he had such a distinctive voice, and he was just wonderful. Uh, and um, I could uh, never figure out for, for a while, I couldn't figure out why, why Tom Lehrer, who again has that sort of snide, like, you know, cranky, um, that, that sort of mm, vaguely villain tinge to his voice. And, and I, I finally realized Tom Lehrer did a bunch of music for the electric company and which again I was like put in front of when I was very small and um, oh no uh, but uh, I hadn't realized that Paul had died so young and it was kind of kind of depressing really um, but Okay. Okay. Enough out of you over there. Let's uh, just see to you guys before I... Okay. Ah! All I want is to leave the area. Sheesh. All right. Like I said, I'm not good at precision. Um, and I am not friends with these little fellows either. Coffee. <laughs> I think I'm going to go into my inventory and eat some of the food that I've cooked. No, wrong game. Wrong game. So yeah, we got back from Portland and I was like, oh, well, all right. I'm, I'm actually going to, um, I, I feel like um, I'm very tired and possibly a little sick. Um, and I'm, I'm just going to fire up uh, Tears of the Kingdom and 
and actually play my Zelda game, which ordinarily I would be doing right away when I, I got it. But, um, but yes, Poland was apparently on Hollywood Squares a lot, although small me was not really watching Hollywood Squares. Uh, so I know him more from Bewitched and all of those Hanna-Barbera cartoons and just, um, just really the voice and things because he really was all over television back then. Uh, so, and you know, we, we children back then, we sat in front of the television, that's what we did. Uh, hey, that was unfriendly. Right out of the green cloud that I was not going into specifically because I didn't want to, oh, but I could have got here a different way. Hmm. Well, I'll just get more coffee when the time comes. Hmm. Alright, so I am missing the artifact in the beast pens. Am I? Uh, anyway, I love Bewitched. Uh, that was one of those. And, you know, when you're small enough and you're watching these shows, like, they had two different actors play her, um, the, the Darren character, the husband. And... You know, I'm little, so I'm just like, there's something odd, but I can't put my finger on what because my finger is too small and stupid. So, <laughs> so that was, uh, but it was a big, probably a big influence. Oh, here I am again. Oh, joy. Oh, goody. Let's see if I remember how to, okay. <laughs> I was practicing and I practiced right out the door. Uh, yeah, this room is not our friend. This room does not love us. Um, no! Okay. Um, let's see. Ah! Don't do that! She's very clever. Unfortunately, her player is not. Okay, there we go. Uh, my kid plays all these, um... All these, uh like bullet hell bullet hell games like like toho and um oh uh oh and then um uh, what is it um not not oh and then um uh, the american version of oh and then where the elite beat agents and uh and i'm just like uh, -uh. i couldn't I, I couldn't even get through the hard parts of uh of undertale <laughs> so i'm i'm terrible with those things anything where you have to dodge <sighs> it's not my friend. I kind of want these to do something, besides just look spiffy when I stand in them. I also kind of want these in my house. That would be kind of neat. Um, and let's see. Oh, I'm nervous about... Okay, I know I've looked at that one like three times. So Let's go back to... Let's see... How do I even get to the beast pens? Uh, where is the closest? Well, I will go back to the hub for now. And yeah, I I liked um, I Dream of Jeannie too. I thought she was very pretty, and I liked her little outfits. <laughs> mm. My poor little co-pilot. Hmm. I love gingerbread. I never saw Green Acres. I've heard of it. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to go down, talk to talk to, oh no, first we're going to upgrade, or not upgrade, but um, refill the coffee so that I don't forget. Uh, there, that was probably a waste of that. So what does he want? She's got another castle device. How many are there? There's a lot. Uh, Alright. So. Okay, I don't have any artifacts. Let's see. My um, local television show showed, they used to show um, Harold Lloyd. They had a Harold Lloyd show that they would put on and 
So there would all be all these weird silent, you know, so that whole thing with Harold Lloyd dangling from the clock, it was in the credits of this. And I still remember the little, the little song, the little hooray for Harold Lloyd song that they played. Uh, this is all stuff from when I was really little though. Um, so let's see, what are we missing? What are we missing? We're missing one. Two. Okay, I guess we're just missing two artifacts. Okay. And one of them is in the beast pens. Okay. Let us make use of the map in a way that I'm not very good about. So, the beast pens were on the ground floor. Mountain pass. Oh, yeah, okay. Beast pens. What are the beast pens? Ugh. Well, we went, we went from the beast pens straight into the red corridors and the red playroom, right? So I should be able to, if I head for the red corridors, um, now I'm trying to think of what other voices were the big voices from from that were really like important stuff you heard that, not not the family voices but like the television stuff um and like i said henson was a huge one of course um i sesame street saw to that if nothing else uh, okay so the there we go um so we're gonna head to the red corridors uh, oh catherine hepburn's wonderful yes they were playing um, clips of her on this stuff I was watching, too. Uh, I like her in the, the Lion in Winter. She's very good. Oh, yeah, this is not where I meant to go. But heck, let's look around and make sure that I looked at all the, I know I looked at all the portraits in here, and there was a portrait in here. Yeah, we looked at this guy. We're gonna do it again, though. Mm. Oh, Star Trek. Star Trek was one of those that was always around. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, hmm. Okay, so we, I know we've seen that, and I know we shouldn't be in here. This is, this is not the right. This is not the right. Did we ever get back to the folks in the kitchen? I'm gonna check the kitchen before I mess with it. Oh, except we do, we do, yeah. What are we doing in here? This was not where I meant to go. Mm. Let's see, uh, have, I, have I gone on about um, this, this, Part of the game where I'm wandering lost always makes me think of, of Ryoga in, in Ranmo and Half, uh, who is notorious for his um, bad sense of direction. And, oh, this must be the beast pens. All the scratches. Yeah, here we go. I forgot because I want that artifact that's in here. Um, so let's see. Hmm. Yeah, Next Generation, Star Trek Next Gen came out when I was in high school, and although I saw it a bunch, I wasn't, like, a regular watcher of it, um, although, I mean, I was certainly an irregular watcher of it, like, it was on, and I, and I would watch it, but, um, okay, so I don't want to mess with that guy. Uh, where is the thing I want? I know it's around here somewhere. Um... Uh, we recently got it all on DVD, all of the Star Trek The Next Generation, because, uh, so there's what I want. And this is going to probably kill me a few times, because uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do my best to not die. Uh, let's see. Now, I'm trying to 
to remember what the best way to not die in here was. Because I did get stuck a lot. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's glowing. The power lantern is doing its thing, which is telling me that there's an artifact in here. Um, and, uh, let's see. Okay, so he's going. Where is he? Oh, he's coming back. Uh oh, I don't want to get seen. I'm going to hide in the corner until this guy goes past, and I'm going to take another bite of my poor little guy. Oh no. Okay. Mm. I shouldn't have done that. Mm. The abandoned chew toy. Uh oh. Oh no. Hide, 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 hide. Mm hmm. Hmm. So there's a little bit of lore here, but I am going to. Uh. He's, oh, he's coming back. I better hide again. Um, I'm going to wait until I am safe to read it. Yes. Mm. Mm. Okay, there he goes. Oh, no. I... Uh-oh. Ah! And they are one shot, and I should have had the, the... Yeah, it's better this way. Unbridled power can be such a burden. Oh, Zola. Um, all right. When is the last save? Let's see. Oh, it's up here. Oh, oh. All right. Hmm. Oh, this might take me a little bit. We'll see. All right. Okay. Now, let's try to be... A little more sensible than last time, although I'm not good at sensible. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to stream next. Um, okay, is he going to come back here? Oh, big sharp kitty. Yeah, he's gonna come over here. You don't see me. You don't see me. I'm hiding. I am sneaky. You see, the, the power globe is... Um, There we go. Where did he go? Where did he go? Alright, is he going around? Alright. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah, got me again. I'm never very fast. Oh, it's okay. Nobody expected you to actually make it. Oh. Ah, just doing cat things, so. Ugh. Hmm. So I don't, I, I kind of, I feel like I should be able to get back up to that um, grapple from down below, but I've, I haven't really made it. So I don't really know. I've never been able to do it. I always have to go the other way and try to be a little more careful all this time. So let's see. If that's open and I come around here, I can get back up to that one. Why can't I get back up to that one? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I have done this before, but, you know, it doesn't mean I'm good at it. Yeah. Lady clumsy is what I am. And then when these guys see you, that's it. It's it's just uh mm, all right. Ah, there they go. Now Phil got into trouble with these guys because he was playing on god mode. And that does not keep these guys from just backing you up and interrupting you over and over again. Yeah. Where is he gone? Where is he gone? Ah, mm. oh, there he is. Okay. Let me uncover 
this way. Okay, let's see if I can do it. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm jumpy. Okay. Now let's see. Can I? Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Having got that, I am now going to stand up here and read the lore. Whew, because I need to. Oh, yes. Yes. The Steam Cat is Vlad, so I, I should have checked the sign. Um, let's see. Abandoned chew toy. A chew toy in strangely pristine condition, given to an imprisoned creature thought beyond humanity. The toy was surprisingly revered and served as the solitary monster's only companion. That's really sad. Oh, no. Take better care of your monsters, guys. It's important. Um, this prompted a decisively prudish scholar to say, maybe men are the real monsters. The scholar was summarily expelled from the university, as even a piece of toast can testify to the fact that humans don't have particularly impressive canines. I don't think that's the only requirement, but it would be nice. I would like some pointier canines. I have ridiculously flat ones, and when I was in school, there were always kids who had the really pointy ones, because some people just do, and I was always really jealous. Okay, so cool. So we got that artifact, and now there is a, um, he, <laughs> that's true. We can, we can beat the toast. There is, oh, there's a portrait, and I'm trying to remember. I think you get to it from somewhere in this area. All right, I'm probably going to die a few times trying to, um, trying to find the thing I'm looking for. So I'm going to, ah, there we go, it's saved. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm just gonna take some risks and um, see if I can remember. Where's the one that lives in here? Where is it? All right, let's go in here. This might be the place I'm looking for. Could this be it? No, we've seen this one already. I love this one though, it's so funny. What is that guy back there? Well, they look happy together. The code to achieving dimensional transcendence is as follows. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. Very good. That is an important one. So, something has changed. Oh, that was the last one. Well, what do you know? Hmm. I would have sworn I'd already got this one. A, a new room is available. A special exhibit is now, now open. You can enter from the Grand Gallery. Oh, great. I promise I'm going to check it out. I'm calculating a diminishing chance for complimentary bu bubbles. All right, I'm really going to take a look. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so what happens if I jump down here? Oh, I probably die. Yeah. Well, let's try it. All right. Okay, cool. So that was the last portrait. I thought I'd had that one. Um, so now I just have to find my way out. I think this is the way we came in. Oh, was there a diminishing portrait, a, a typo? I'm really bad at spotting typos. Um, okay, here we are. Okay, um, what else, what else, what else? Oh, the right, the last artifact. Oh, boy, that's gonna be hard to get. Uh, well, we'll go turn this one in anyway and we can go take a look at the silly demishing. Oops, demishing, huh? Um, hmm. I know they did fix some typos fairly recently. Obviously, not that one. All right, let me make a note. Oh, oh yeah, where did those go? Um, 
What was it? Diminishing complementary bubbles? Well, I'm writing it down, but I might not be very good at remembering exactly where it is. Uh, all right. Oh, you are not the only person, trust me. Oh my gosh. Uh, although, it's definitely, um, I mean, I like it to all be spelled right. Um, and I definitely care if it's like in one of our books. It's very frustrating. Um, that's true, we will just, we will call it, um, yeah, Steam Cat Bridge. Okay. Let's see. We already got in here. Something in here opened. I'm trying to remember where. You guys. Alright. That's fine. I can use the, uh... No, don't use the death ray! No! Ah! I... The master sword is going to get me. Um... Alright. All right. Is it... Oh, alright. This guy's gonna follow me him with my wrench. Um, uh, I know exactly the room I'm looking for. I do not remember exactly where it is hidden. Hmm. I think it was up in one of these. It's not here, though. This is where I just came in, isn't it? Yeah, that's where I just came in. So anyway, yeah, Ryoga is a character in Ranma One Half who has a really appalling sense of direction, and I identify with him greatly. Um, and I've told this story before, probably even on stream, but I always remember the guy that got off of the elevator. Uh, it was at an anime con, and this there was this cosplayer. He gets off the elevator. Ah, here we go. He gets off the elevator, he looks around, he looks puzzled, he gets back on the elevator, the elevator goes away, and my kid and I see this whole thing play out, and we're just, like, absolutely delighted. Like, like, oh my god, was that on purpose? Was he really lost? I don't care, it was grand. <clears throat> so, alright, here we are. Here we are, we are in the room with the credits. Which I think we've been to before. And we're gonna break all the things. Break all the things. And. I like uh, the wall of skulls. Oh, here we go. Well, it is unsettling. Indeed, an old master tasked me, me with visualizing what the eldritch creators of all, all things might have looked like. Many, many men of flesh had already tried, but their minds were, was, were lost. Okay, so this is the portrait that drives men mad. Here we go. Yay! The painter it finally commissioned was insane before she started. There we are. <laughs> We do not have um, a big wrench like this in real life, although uh, they do make them. I've seen pictures because people send us pictures of things like this, which I love. Um, and I, I believe they make them to work on big machinery like uh, railway stuff and, um, and large factories. Uh, I do not have one. The closest I have is I do have a big wooden wrench um, that some cosplayers gave us after a convention Ooh, probably almost 20 years ago now uh, that they had for an Agatha costume and then um, they all signed it for us and, and it's um, downstairs in the hallway over the uh, over the mirror in, in the hall so uh, anyway there we are let's see what it has to say tremble before your alpha <laughs> <laughs> my ones and zeros, the abyss, the abyss staring 
back. Aw, they're kind of cute. Yeah, we're so cute. I said, said Tremble. Alright, fine. So there we go. We've unlocked the, the portraits by a master. Um, and I really, really like this one. It's so it's so funny. I, I, I can't really get a good look at it here, though. Um, so... <laughs> Yeah, anyway, there we are, and it's terrific. Um, although I'm getting my winter coat now, so my hair isn't that color anymore. <laughs> so, and then this, uh, this was going to be something it isn't now. It's just, it's just pretty. And uh, here, did, did we already look at this? Let's, let's do this. This is fun. Here are all of our Kickstarter backers. Yay! Look! There, you, there are a bunch of you are. So uh, there's, there are several of our Kickstarter backers, and um, then later it, it's, it's all the credits. And I, I'm just gonna sit here and chatter while it runs because we should run it at least once. And I think there should absolutely be a, um, an achievement for having watched them, but I don't think there is. See, it kind of goes, kind of goes and goes there. So. Oh, did you see your names? Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I'm so glad. <laughs> I recognized a few of the names in there, so that was, that was nice. Um, oh, okay. I thought the, um, I thought that the game's credits were there too, but I guess it's just the backers. So, um, I mean, not just the backers, you know, but only the backers and not the, the folks who worked on it as well. So uh, this is very fun. Uh, well, this is different. These are, these are different um, people than... than... <laughs> Golly, that's so silly. Okay. Anyway, so there you go. There's the big reward for collecting all of the portraits. <laughs> uh, I keep thinking these look like magic cards lying around, but they're a little bit big. I think I just have magic cards on the brain because I spent all weekend signing them. I signed so many cards. Oh my gosh, I signed a lot of cards. Turns out I did a lot of magic cards back in the day, and um, so now I have to sign them all. Like, all of them. I probably need a Gaius on me where I can't die until I've signed all the cards printed with my name on them. I'll be around for a while. I like it. Uh... Okay, so mm, 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 where else did we do all of the this? No, don't don't be annoying. I love that sound, but it, it is the too bad for you. Ooh, look, I did not do this. Not that I really need it anymore, but I need to get all this stuff just in case. an artifact to turn in so I can run around and go back to the hub if I can figure out how to get down from here uh, so yeah I didn't go see the troll <laughs> who put themselves in their stories. Well, I hope most of the time it's just in a sort of a small way. Um, we, we generally try not to. Okay, except for the um, Mechanicsburg uh, holiday story. Mwah, hello. Mm. What you doing? <sighs> hope I can get you to look at this. Oh, excuse me a second. Um, Mimeth interlude. Hold on. Um, microphone is on while that's going so you know careful there well this is a guy I want rubbed out ah! <laughs> okay so the why would she let him see her is she stupid like like at least have him come in 
you know, have her be like, okay, so anyway, you've got to hide me because, you know, if Dr. Rakethorn sees me, bah! Fine, <laughs> what, I can what add that. What will he do? Ah! <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. I can add that. Yeah, you need to add that, and then... Yeah. This, this is a lot of talking on the page already, but you might need to just bump some of this to the next page, and... Um... Well, just read it, so... I did read it, didn't I? Hmm. I think we need to talk about this a little more because there was some stuff on the other page that I liked a little better. So do some business with her being like, you know, hey, I'm really good. I, mean, I liked all that stuff about, oh, she's really good at languages and, you know, stuff. Mm. She's, she's good at stuff. Anyway, I need to get back to this, but... Yeah, where's the, where are those pages? I don't know. Um, I cleaned up. Don't you have them? No. Well, look over there uh. under the, um, under the pens. No, hello, over there, under the pens. Oh, the pens. Yes, I see them. Okay. Cool, cool. Ah, you can hear us! Ha ha ha! It's totally a spoiler. Oh no. Okay, note to self. The Mimith interlude is is um is is not secure. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Anyway. Um all right, you guys, it's all a secret. This this is what happens to those who who talk. Oh no. Okay. My poor little guy. Mm, they shouldn't make them so cute. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yes, it is a unicorn tapestry plate because I absolutely love the unicorn tapestries. I love the, um, I love the colors and I love the unicorns. Uh, the ladies' hairstyles are a little weird, but I did. Um, Although I did not go visit the troll in uh, Portland because I was tired, I did long ago go visit the unicorns in um, Paris at the at the Clooney Museum, um, and so I'm very fond of that red and the Mille Fiore um, uh, stuff. Um, it is true. I remember that the '80s looked totally normal while they were happening and now I look back on it and I think oh my god <laughs> hmm but they did look normal at the time honest all, all those fashions seemed like just a good idea somehow um so yeah anyway um we are talking about the next page and we are talking about um how princess Nina is uh stowing away and how probably it would not be a uh, very good um to just like stow away and try to be all sneaky and then just parade around in front of Dr. Rakethorn who's gonna be like what are you doing here but you know he does need to come in and say what are you doing here but they shouldn't be so they shouldn't be stupid about it let's put it that way they should uh, you know it should be an accident that he he walks in and, and discovers her there instead of her just being like yeah it's probably fine whatever I know I came in this way Um, let's see, what, what were we doing? Oh, right, we were, we were having the Jaegers hang out with the Geisters, um, in the previous couple pages. Phil just wants to get started drawing the next page, and so he's coming in here with, um, with storyboards that, and I'm like, oh, oh, no, this is not an out. Where's the exit? There is no exit. There are just a million doors labeled exit. Hmm. Ooh, none of these doors are labeled. Mm, did we do this stuff? No, we didn't do any of this. This is all those guys. This is all the folks at Rain and their extremely talented um, artists. 
I think they're. I think it's mostly they're extremely talented artists. I think. I think it was mostly youth. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Oh gosh. Oh the storyboards. I have bins of the damn things. Um, they're a mess. And I do keep them. And they're mostly funny little ovals with screaming faces. <laughs> Some pages um, get completely rewritten. Um, one of them was nothing but... Uh, one of them is one that I can't actually show. Uh, even though I wanted to because it had some like really far out spoilers in it. But it was something Phil drew just to make me laugh. But it was just... All it was was characters, I'm afraid, screaming the F word. Ahem. Which I won't say because I don't let you guys say it in the... Um, comments so whatever anyway <laughs> believe me i say it enough at home and i know it's the internet and we're allowed to swear but whatever and um where was i going with this it, it had a whole lot of spoilers but it was really funny and it was just different um <laughs> uh, it, it all meant something i'm not explaining this well i'm going to i'm going to move on i'm trying to explain a joke that i, I can't really figure out how to explain anyway <laughs> Let's see. So yeah, let's go back to the hub and turn in, <laughs> turn in the thing. Um, and <laughs> then I have one more. I'll make another try at some of the um, at some of the arena stuff. I really am down to some of the more grindy, boring stuff. Um, Ah, oh, the self-satisfied grin of plunder. I assume you have artifacts for me, my lady. It's not plunder if it technically belongs to me. Let me have this, mistress. Sure. I bring forth the spoils of war! Very good. Oh, <laughs> I was just thinking about that, too. Dude, you are on my gaming table. Mine has zeppelins that really fly. <laughs> they don't even call them zeppelins in Girl Genius. Oh no. Let's see. So we have one. And all we've got left is to upgrade our health. But that's okay because I can use the health upgrades. Um, Alright, let's go to the arena and watch me fail to get achievements for a little while. That'll be good. What could go wrong? <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, so, let's see. No, I don't want to fight with you guys. You're, you're all... Eh, mooks. Mooks! There we go. Uh, I probably could have got here faster. Oh, she guns. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Every so often, my um, controller forgets how to swing the wrench because um, because third-party controllers. <laughs> I'm supposed to be doing this with my mouse and keyboard, but I am such a console peasant that I, um, I get a little. I, I like my controllers. <laughs> I do like trying to find reasons to um, call things different things. I mean, so clearly everything in Girl Genius is, is translated from the original Latin, German, Romanian, whatever they happen to be speaking at any given moment, depending on where they are. But, yeah, you know. Um, so some words are, are a little weird. Okay, let's, uh, so I might, okay, so I've got this one, I've got this one. Oh, that is the hardest one for me. So I will do the others. Let's start at the end. Okay, so there's a time goal and a no damage goal. 
That's true. Zeppelin is an actual trademark still. They're still using it, I'm pretty sure. Um, let's see. Um, okay. Hmm. I have my coffee. I have my, my death ray. Um, uh, okay, this may take a little bit, but I'll try it. So I have to do it in under a minute, and I have to do it while taking no damage. And I am unlikely to get those both at the same in the same playthrough. So we'll just see how we're doing. <laughs> that was okay. So already you can see that I um, hit the wrong button because I'm a doofus, and. Um, yeah, so I've taken some damage. So I won't get that one. Ugh. And now I'm dead. I didn't expect that. Oh, that's how it ends. I had so much more planned. Oh, oh Zola. Um, okay. Oh, come on. Don't make me go all the way over there. All right. Um, I did not expect to die. I, I expected to fail, but I did not expect to die. <laughs> and yes, it's because I pushed the wrong button. Um, uh, no, oh man, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, I am going to have a really hard time getting Zelda out of my uh, out of my fingertips. Not even going to get this the time. Ugh. Oh, what do you know? Okay, I got the time goal anyway. There you go. So um, I find that getting the time goal and the no damage goal in the same, um, in the same, I, I don't know, in the same go, um, it just doesn't. So now let's see if I can do this uh, and take no damage. Right. So. Ah, all right. So this is nice. You can retry the challenge. Just, um, just hit the button and uh, and have another go without having to back out of the whole thing. So that is useful. Uh. As is the power lantern. Very useful. I like to stand in the middle, if possible. Alright. And I keep wanting to hit the button that, um, I keep wanting to hit the, the Master Sword button that's, uh, in this case, our, um, oh dear. Uh-oh. Oh, this is gonna be a problem. Uh-oh. Oh, he got me! Okay. Let me try. Hello, hello! Uh... Uh, yeah. There we go. I know I say there we go a lot. Um, oh man. Alright. How do I run again? Alright. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 
Oh, she just made a comment about feng shui. I missed it. Um, well. Hmm. This isn't even the hardest one. This has a good recharge rate. Ha! Both of you little guys. bad at this. Okay. Well, that's why I like to try the harder ones first. Okay. Oh, looks like I avoided that. How did that happen? I feel like if I get the harder stuff out of the way first, uh oh. Oh no. I'm going to regret doing that. Oh, okay, no, it's fine. Uh oh. Oh, he got me. Oh. Oh, those captains. Those captains just cause me trouble. talk as much while I'm doing this because I kind of get distracted. little bit. Oh. I, I get a little better every time, but eh, yeah, it's rough. Uh, and those captains. Oh, they just, they are, they're uh, kind of tough. Can you imagine what this would be like for me on hard? Oh. <laughs> I was always impressed with the people who can really play these things with, with such precision and expertise. I know that I know they're out there. I'm so glad they have this retry. The retry button is very kind. <sighs> I remember, I remember games where if you failed, you had to go through like the entire ending and then the whole loading screen and the whole. <sighs> but yeah, this the shield planks really are fast. Oh, they got me. Getting which buttons to push.
now I've just got this guy to worry about. You know, I have a death ray. Maybe I could use it on this guy. Hmm. All right. Boy, I think I said something about maybe this would be the last, uh, the last time I play this game. That might not turn out to be true. I might spend a lot of time playing this one. Uh just to just getting the last hmm. wow I thought I had a I thought I had a okay there ha there we go ha it took a death ray but I did it <laughs> Whew, okay, now I want to let the death ray recharge a little bit. So let's see what... Okay, the time goal. Um, we've already done Toxic Trust and have taken no damage. That's good. So, hmm. So let's see. What else have I got? Oh, oops. Yeah, that one's got a lot of trouble. Projectile party is my uh, my uh, hardest one. That's the one that I have a lot of trouble with, and I have to keep hammering away on. Um. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this one, if I don't worry about getting hurt, which I'm not going to, um, and I don't need the death ray for this one, so it's fine. I just have to smack him around a little. Yeah. See, I'm already getting hurt. All right. There we go. That one was not too bad. That one was not too bad. So now let's see. And my death ray is coming along. So, whew, I think I deserve to, uh, harm my poor little my little friend here a little more um. mm -hmm. yeah you can absolutely do them separately mm. I am rude mm. I am rude and I talk with my mouth full of gingerbread now okay um do I want to do this one? Hmm. I'll do the captains. Yeah, it's not as bad trying to get them at different times. Um, I never would have got it otherwise. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. So, I will try to do this one as fast as possible um, but if I get hurt hmm. oh so many of them oh no doing a different I was doing the wrong thing that was just fencing clans clank troop hmm. I have never made gingerbread girl genius characters no um, I keep talking about how I'd love to do a gingerbread castle but somehow around that time of year I never have the time to do a thing I barely get um, Christmas sorted out for us all right, let's try Captain's Cartel this time, which is what I meant to do last time. I did think that was unusually easy. 
Ah, oh, well, there we go. I took some damage, so now we'll just try to do this fast. time goal <clears throat> and that's good um, but now the trick is it is nice because that you don't have to do them both at once because if you're trying to do it fast you're going to get hurt and if you're trying to I want some more coffee where is the coffee machine there it is <laughs> these things are so cute All right. there oh. no yeah I, I know I just pushed the wrong button it's fine Let's see. How come it won't talk to me right now? That's odd. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, well, it's saying go away and do something else. I guess. Yeah, there was threat music. I, I kind of wonder what I um, what I got myself into there. Um, my guess is that one of the guys up above had seen me, and it's still playing some threat music, isn't it? Um, no, this isn't right. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm so confused. Okay. Let's see. There we are. Yeah, I think um, I think I was in combat. And so, um, okay, so let's see if I can do Captain's Cartel with no damage taken. It's, it's possible. I might be able to. <laughs> Take that, you little twerp. Alright. So now I have loads of time. Because I don't have a deadline. Except, uh, uh, uh. okay, so far so good, but I think this is going to get kind of rough. They are a lot more powerful when there's a captain around. Uh, they... Oh, he got me. Okay, retry. Captains, they come out of the stun whirling, and I just don't. Oh, crikey, there's a stingray over there. Oh, and he got me too. Oh, I hate those guys. I mean, they're cute, but yeah. Oh, that was a bad start. Oh, I love the fast restart, though. It's so nice. Okay. Yeah, I keep forgetting I have a death ray. Oh. Oh, they got me. Mm. Mm, I like that. 
Thank you, Chicken Clank. You know, I am just not speedy enough with the wrenchering to be able to do much. Uh. It's like I get the wrenchering go ready, and then by that time something's hit me. Uh. All right, here we go. Ha! Thank you. That was excellent advice. <laughs> Whew, now I have to let the um, death ray recharge again. Mm. So what do we got left? Uh, we have projectile party. I can try to do the speed part of projectile party while my um, while my death ray recharges. <laughs> of course, it helps to hit the right button. All right, you. Uh, you can see why the don't get hurt one is so hard for me. In this one. This is this is the this is the don't get hurt uh, challenge that took me so long to beat. Uh, it might take me a while to do the speed version too. Oh, yeah, see I didn't even get the speed. Oof. Alright, so let's see, projectile party. Try it again. Yay! I should try, oh, um, no, I shouldn't. we get from this is quite good. Um, <laughs> is, is, that, is that thing even slowing these guys down? Death Ray Fiddlesticks. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. These guys are really good at... Uh, Okay, there. We got the time goal for that one. Whew! Okay. And now my death rate is... Okay. So, we got... We got Fencing Clank. Troop. Block of Room. Still need no damage on... On Projectile Party. But we're good on Captain's Cartel. Good on Toxic Trust. And good on Battery of Shields. So... I will try taking no damage on projectile party a little bit, a little bit more. We'll see how I do. Although I do know that um, this is the, oh boy. Oh, 
Oh, they got me. Um, there's probably... Oh, they got me again. You know, I haven't actually tried with a bomb on this. I should probably... Let's, uh, let's really quick try that. Okay, no, let's not. Oh, they got me again. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just see if that does any good. Yeah, it doesn't seem to. But it might do better. Oh, pff. Yes, throw it! That's so good! What a good idea! ways to do this. My clever way was to just uh... my clever way was to just go around in circles and um, not uh, hold still. Oh, he got me. Um, okay, it isn't very clever. <sighs> and then once the, um, the guys show up at the end... Oh, did they hit me? They hit me. Mm. Like I said, for this one, I kind of sat around and, um, I don't like, I don't like the thing that, ugh. Oh, right into it. Ow. part that I have a lot of trouble with. Alright. Hmm. Oh! Oh, they got each other, but they got me too. Thank you. 
Oh my god. We did it! Oh my god. <laughs> well, that went a lot faster than I expected, actually. Um, hmm. Okay. I could have sworn, however. Oh, what have we got? What have we got? We got a cutscene. Aha! I think this is the last artifact. Let's see. Reusable headstone. Super. All right, and we unlocked an achievement. That's right, I didn't even use the death ray. Uh, in that one, I feel like if I had stopped to use the death ray, I probably would have got hit by something. I mean, the whole thing with that one is I keep having to roll out of the way as quickly as, like, I try to go in one direction so that they're, like, aiming and I'm already in, yeah. So, all right. <sighs> Whew. Okay, lore. Let's find the lore. It is the reusable headstone. The headstone of Lazarus Hatterdyne, commissioned following his third revival. He reveled in being ahead of his vanguard, and every time he fell in battle, his squire would put down the headstone and increase its tally by one. He felt no shame falling in battle, as he found immense joy in scaring his enemies after taking a mortal wound. He is recorded to have died 136 times in the Battle of Beer, ca beer Cans. He started the assault by launching himself from a mimoth mounted trebuchet. Oh, I did little tiny trebuchet. He must have been very small. And now I'm now I am picturing Lazarus Heterdyne as as a Nakmak Fiegel. Um, but hmm, probably not what they had in mind. Okay, that's very silly. And um, now I want to go back to the hub and I want to turn it in for extra life which will help me when fighting Zola Krivens. Yes, very good. Um, okay, I think that's our last artifact. I think, I think. So let's, let's go back to the hub. I think it is. And I'm going to give it, give it to the castle. Ah, oh, the self-satisfied grid of plunder. I assume you have artifacts for me, my lady. Spitting while I talk, I'm gross. <laughs> it's not plunder if it technically belongs to me. Let me have this mistress. Sure, I bring forth the spoils of war! Alright, so the last thing... We have got all the upgrades. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's all the upgrades we can get. So, and um, let's see, have we looked here? Here's a jeweled worm egg. Worm. I like to say worm. It's fun. Um, let's refill the coffee. Uh, while we're here, I think just because I want to go sit on the throne. Eh, oh, my loyal subjects, yes. Okay. Let's just sit on the throne a little. <sighs> so well earned. Very good. <laughs> That's all. Oh. I think I've done everything that the Dingbot needs to do, so I'm not really sure that there is any more fun for the Dingbot um, I think I think Dingbot has has earned his his sitting around on his throne and ruling over his subjects. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, also while we're here, there's no real need, but I I, I just wanted to point out that you know here we go. Here's the library where you can. You can read the whole comic in the game. Um, 
which is using the inky pen technology to um so you can actually sit here and and you can read the book you can zoom in zoom out uh they're all here through most of about half of volume 23 i guess um we don't have um the front story is it here i did just get the front story up on drive through comics though so I'm actually having a sale right now on drive through uh, for the PDFs, which um, so over on drive through comics you can get the PDFs. Um, the new ones are a regular price. The older ones, like one through twenty, and nuts and bolts and the bucket ghetto stuff are all half off. Um, that's been doing really well for us. I'm starting to actually try to be a little more careful about making enough to pay the mortgage every month <laughs> so so we're having our the sale that we would ordinarily have during our kickstarter i'm having it now i'm i'm just babbling i'm like what do i do now we got the um we got the portrait i got the oh right we haven't gone to look at it we have to go look at it it isn't enough to just get the uh, there's the jaeger plushie it's so cute um, there's the, the little, um, oh, that reminds me of something I wanted to show you guys. Um, I wonder if I can run and get it quickly. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to stall a little bit because I'm really close. I will be right back. Uh, I will go get my coffee while I'm at it. And, um, and I will go get this funny little thing I want to show you guys. So, um, uh, hold on a second. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Oh, no, no, no. I gotta go. There we go. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Oh, hat, 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 hat. All right. So, 
before I get back to the game, <laughs> before I get back to the game, I got this thing. Um, I actually ordered it on um, eBay, I think, because um, let me know. I got it on eBay. I got it a while ago. Um, this is this is. Let's see if I can get it up. This is a snake stone, and it comes from England. And my what my one of my professors at the university told me is that these were things that were made to sell to tourists and they were like oh um yes it's uh these are little creatures that are found in the chalk and and um it's like a little dragony guy and uh, yeah it's it's absolutely like they come out of the ground like this with the little face and all no really uh but it was apparently like this medieval tourist hilarious hilarity to, to sell these guys but what it is is an ammonite fossil that has been carved so it has a goofy little face and i i love it i think it's the funniest thing <laughs> because you know yeah it is totally real kind of a little <laughs> But they're so funny, and um, I always wanted one, and finally I just gave up on, like, when am I ever going to get back to England? I don't know. I hope sometime, but um, this one comes from, uh, let's see, did it, did it, where did it, this one comes from the, um, I know it says in here somewhere, because I want to be sure when I, I talk about it, it is from the Upper Lias Formation, which is one of the um, layers of chalk, I believe, that is, I think it's under London in that area. I'm not sure though. Um, but I, when I read that and I was like, oh, um, those of you who are, uh, have read Terry Pratchett's soul music might remember Elias Bluestone, who was the troll. And uh, he's named after the Elias formation where my, my little, snake stone comes from so I, I just thought that was so great <laughs> and I love fossils uh, but I also love that people throughout history have been finding fossils and going what do I do with this yes he became clip um, and um, yeah so that I, I think is awfully neat and just a little I, I don't even remember what the point of all that was or why I got onto the the um, snake stone thing but I just wanted I like to show off my toys so uh, all right I'll get back to the game now oh I know why I remember why I was on that here we go so here we are back at the main game and it's because here is one here is one on the on the snail trophy oh, <laughs> at least that's what it looks like to me it looks like a, a snake stone and I think that's very funny. So let's see. Uh, so anyway, so we have the trails. Uh, we have the the heart of the storm. I, I love this. That that there's this um, mythical or this this magic necklace. Um, and it's not magic, but you know this. Um, legendary. Legendary is the word I want. Uh, the legendary necklace that was a uh, part of Euphrosnia Heterodyne's bridal trousseau or whatever and oh and i learned um just while we're on this is cool i i learned a word the other day that i didn't know existed but it turns out i have one uh it is <laughs> that sounds odd it, it's it's a, a purr it's it's per it's pronounced purr i don't remember how it's spelled exactly but it's a set of jewelry like you have the necklace and the earrings and you know if you're really fancy the little tiara and the little bracelet and the little brooch and it's all like a set and and there's like a word for this little set of of jewelry and i i actually have a little set like that with um it's got like um two different pairs of earrings depending on whether you want big dangly ones or smaller ones and it's got the necklace and it's got the bracelet and the what else does it have it doesn't have a tiara anyway um but it's all made of sort of this colorful 
it's from like the 30s i think it's not it's not fancy gems or anything it's not like like jewels it's some kind of costume jewelry but it is the whole little funny set that you would wear and i've worn it on stage at the um at san diego comic-con a few times when i've been emceeing the masquerade because phil and i emcee the masquerade every year that's one of our big highlights of our year uh, it's a lot of fun um we get front row seats we get to see everybody's really amazing costumes and it's fantastic and the only downside is that we occasionally pronounce people's names wrong and make them mad at us we try really really hard not to do that uh but we do try um you know what it isn't even glass it is some kind of weird paste it's some kind of um some kind of like molded stuff um but it, it has a, a vague feel to me, like it's somewhere in between Nouveau and Deco. I think it's a little more Deco. Um, but just the fact that it, there is a word for that type of like suite of jewelry that you would have all together, it's wild. And, um, oh, I know why I learned it though. I was reading a, um, it was some, one of the manga I read, had like fancy people in it and they were talking about they were talking about this thing and and the word it looks like it's spelled like parare or something is french and nothing in french is uh, to an english speaker nothing in french is spelled the way it sounds I'm, I'm sure it all sounds perfectly normal if you're a french speaker um <clears throat> but wow um so anyway, there it is. There it is, our final beautiful, it looks like a slot machine, doesn't it? <laughs> it looks like we're going to, to win a, a million whatever, or more likely put all our money into it. Uh, so what is what are the numbers? It looks like two, four, oh, one. Uh, um, so I can't see if, um, I can't see if, yeah, it isn't even the rainbowy glass. Uh, I have some stuff like that. It's very pretty, but um, yeah, English. You know, I'm I am lucky that English is my first and honestly, if I'm going to be honest, only it's my only language. I'm not lucky about that, but um, the languages that I poke at, I would never claim to be in any way useful at with. Um, oh, here's the chew toy! Yay! Um, but at least I don't have to learn English. I can I can have my fun learning Japanese and, and various, uh, and poking at other languages. And um, I, don't, I don't have to try to learn English. So there's, there's something. This thing is so cute. And, and it looks like any creature would like to, to chew on it. Um, I, personally, I feel like I'd throw it into the dryer and uh, make it help me dry things. It looks like a dryer ball, but it also looks like the kind of toys that, the, that our doggo used to have. So. Um, here is the abandoned chew toy. My lady, how did you come upon this one? I found it in an empty stall. Empty? Oh, uh, well, that's fine. Keep an eye out. Someone might come back for it. Oh, great. <laughs> okay, so someone's wandering around. That's terrific. Um, I don't even know if it's um, one of the steam cats or if it's... if. Um, old Vlad is, or what was his name? Was it Vlad? Was a little creature? Anyway, I don't know if he's still wandering around or, or, um, hmm. And I think that that is all of our, um, I think that's all of our, uh, artifacts. Did we look at this one? This is Rober's Hourglass. What's the story here? Ah, that would belong to Robo. He used to have a deep fascination with time and its perpendicular dimensions. He got over it and donated all his research to a cloister. So what did he discover? And best not to dwell on that. Okay, I think we did read that one. <clears throat> it's so comfy in here. I wonder who lit all the candles. I guess, well, probably Von Zinter. He probably lit all the candles. He's very good at his job. Okay, so uh, that seems to be all of the artifacts. I'm just stalling. I don't want to go fight Zola. She'll get me. Uh, 
Oh, we didn't read the tombstone? What? Oh, we went and looked at it. I... <laughs> All right. Um, reusable headstone. Let me congratulate you on beating the challenges of the arena. Lazarus used to be king there. It is his headstone that serves as the prize. Oh, neat. Where is he buried now, then? Well, I might have lost track of him at this point. Oh, great. Okay, I hope he's not wandering around, too. Excuse me a minute. I'm just gonna get a little... I'm gonna take some drugs. Hold on. <laughs> oh, no. is kind of giving me a little trouble there. Okay. Now, what else do I need to do? Yeah, I think there's probably a lot of guys wandering around. Um, but we can't really have a lot of them. Um, we can't have anybody who's going to show up and be like, well, actually, who's king? I'm king. Because, um, you know, it's sort of Agatha's job. Let's see, we already went down there. That was fun. I really liked that one. Uh, when I first got into there, I was... It, that that um, little trip under the castle took me a long time the first time I did it. Partially because I was just poking around looking at everything. Oh, and then... Um, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So it was only last night that I fired up the Legend of Zelda, the Tears of the Kingdom, right? Uh, I've been putting it off because uh, because playing that game is a real treat for me and so I've been saving it and I because I had a lot of work to do so so last night is when I finally fired it up and it starts out with the characters underneath Hyrule Castle going I didn't realize it went this deep and I was like oh man this is just delightful it's just it, it's um it reminded me so much of this and it made me happy that's you know, yeah really i really like um i like a lot about that game so far i don't really love the crafting aspect to it uh that is not making me very happy but this is because i find it awkward to try sticking things to other things and blech, uh, no. let's see so I'm trying to decide if I want to fast travel back to, um... Hmm... To fight Zola... Hmm... I guess... I guess... Let's see... Hmm... I was thinking I might take the long way, but... Alright, here I am... I've got all the health I'm going to get. I have all the death ray I'm going to get. She's still going to mow me down a few thousand times because I am sloppy about this stuff. And now I'm just taking a little look around before I go in. I really like those banners. And what is, oh, it's that. I'm like, why, what is that slamming noise? Yeah, it's the, the fast travel thing, every time I go near it, it opens its... <laughs> this makes me think of... <laughs> Don't dead open inside. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, fine. Here we go. Let's fight Zola a few thousand times. Grr, where are you hiding? Here she comes, looking for me. I found a new toy. Let's play. That belongs to me. You'd better not break. All right, forget it. I'm in the mood for breaking things. Agatha. All right. Oh, chickens, chickens, chickens. 
chickens, chickens. Huh. I wonder if there had been... Miss her entirely? No, I guess not. Um. Oh, this is getting boring. Let's raise the stakes. Oh, there she goes. And here they are. Agatha! I came as fast as I. Moloch! Do something! Um, right. I'll raise the platform. <laughs> Alright. Why does the library have this? Well, obviously, so you can get to the books. There you go. So you can get to the books. Here she comes. Oh, still in the game, I see. Yes, yes I am. Um, oh no, she's gonna do that thing. Oh jeez, oh. I hate it when she does that. Um, Alright, oh yeah. Oh. And she does the superhero land thing. Okay. I don't like that. Oh. Uh. Where is she? Uh oh. oh. Shoo, 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 shoo. That's like my entire... Well, at least I figured out how to avoid her when she does that. Ugh, not when she does that. Uh. Oh, jeez. Okay, so I know in Zelda there's usually a way to tell who's who in these, but I do not know how to tell with Zola. I mean, I'm sure there is one, but I don't know what it is. Hmm. No, you're more capable than you look. But this cat, it won't, yeah, but it still won't matter. This castle is mine. Hmm. There she goes. Oh, Lark. On it. Poor Gil and Tarmac. <laughs> They're just like, we'd help, but... All good. Um, I like this because I like that Agatha. Get, oh yeah, and I like the castle back there too. But I like that Agatha gets to fight Zola herself in this. Um, I think that was a really good change. Um, nowhere to go but out. And please don't run. My wrench wants to give you a proper goodbye. You cow! Die! This is very witty. Um. Oh, did we get her? Oh, this isn't right at all. You're right. There's one last thing I need to do. <laughs> there she goes. Ooh. Bye. <laughs> it's a little team rocket there. <laughs> now this feels right. Castle, what happens now? Bring, bring me to the control device. I will return to my body. Can't wait. All right. Oh, we achieved, we unlocked an achievement. We achieved an unlockment, I, is what I almost said there. Uh, I, I, I've only done this once before. I don't really remember what all happens. So, some shoki here, I don't know. 
crazy. There, is it working? Expel corruption, resume control of system. Activating subsystems. Oh, ho, ho. are you in full control of the castle? Not just the castle, the city. A true heterodyne is in residence. Oh no, I forgot about this part. Oh no. At last, a master has returned home. Took you long enough. I love this part. <laughs> Doom. Oh no, the Doom Bell. <laughs> they used my terrible sound effect. <laughs> Yay! The people of Mechanicsburg! The castle is mine! I am the Heterodyne. Come on, say the thing! <laughs> ha, fine. Tremble before me! <laughs> oh, and now we get the credits. Yay! Good work, you guys! And we've got... Oh, no, we left out. We've got all the people that worked on stuff. I love that the Norwegian Film Institute was involved. That's delightful. Um, hooray for Norway. Uh, yeah, my um, entire mother's... Uh, well, wait, let's see. I guess my grandfather... Uh, my grandfather only spoke Norwegian until he went to school. <laughs> so there, that's... Um, you know how uh, we Americans love to make a, a big thing about where our um, grandparents came from. That's that's part of what uh, was was a big thing when I was growing up. And now I'm going to let the credits roll because after that, there's some stuff to go back and see. Oh, and and that was it. They were done. It really was a very small team working on this. I think they did a fantastic job. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Finally, we did it. No, you did it. You were incredible. <laughs> now, now we all pat each other on the back. <gasps> of course she did it. Did you doubt her? Cram it, you two. Does this mean you're a real life queen? Ha, even better. She's a warrior queen. I would be careful not to insult the mistress with such puny titles. She is a heterodyne. I think that's my cue to leave, if you wouldn't mind opening the gates. I wouldn't recommend it. There's still a battle raging out there. I guess I'll have to sort that out as well, but we've got a moment to catch our breath. I think we deserve that much. Trigvasen, gentleman adventurer! Here to save the lost prince, vanquish villains, and... Ah, sidekick, hope you've managed to keep yourself out of trouble. 
Not this buffoon again. Scoundrel, you promised I would be your sidekick. <laughs> Here they come. Wilhelm, what are you? Young lady, what what are you doing here? <laughs> Wait, which name? Which name haven't you heard said? Othar Trigvasen, gentleman adventurer? <laughs> oh my gosh, my throat hurts. <laughs> I laughed too hard. <laughs> okay, here's Othar. <laughs> Our mother would perish if she heard about this. Oh, please. There is too much going on right now. Agatha, you're okay! And oh my god, she's so cute. I just love this art. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, it's sleep near. And, 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 may I present, may I present the best looking Theo we have ever had in all of canon. So, oh my god. I, so it, I love Theo. I love Theo, as evidenced by the fact that even though he is Theophilus Dumed, he was supposed to be doomed and he did not die because we like him so much. But I never liked the way Phil drew his hair. This is perfection. <laughs> this is this is our boy. <laughs> he is so cute. Uh, and yes, I, I adore him and I'm glad that he didn't die. He was originally supposed to die and I'm afraid we did call him Dumed because he was supposed to be doomed and then it just didn't i don't know it just didn't happen that way i mean you know you're writing and something just didn't um yeah stuff sometimes just happens differently than you expect so there we go and i'm glad we have him and i think he looks wonderful here this is my favorite art of theo ever anyway <laughs> we saw the castle light up so i brought refreshments i made them myself <clears throat> This is madness! Say the word, mistress. My eviction methods may be rusty, but that simply adds flavor. No, I don't think that'll be necessary. I'm starting to enjoy this flavor of madness. Okay, so... Oh. So we got some lore, and now we've got a bunch of people to go talk to. But first, let's check out the lore, and oh, we got an achievement, too. Okay, so first to the journal. Let's see what our achievements are. Boom, 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 boom. Pinky's last flight. Oh, the pink pest has flown the coop. <laughs> the pink pest. Oh, well, she'll be back. Don't worry, don't worry. Self-improvement. Find all heterodyne artifacts. Okay. Deliver artifacts to the Crypt Clank, learn their stories, and use their essence to improve upon your frail mortal body. Oh boy, I wish that worked in real life. Um, lore Master, discover the stories of the castle. There's so much to learn. Oh, we found all the lore. Uh, so, in my first playthrough, I know I keep talking about my other playthrough, but my first playthrough, I had one lore segment left, and I could not get it and I finally figured out where it was it was necessary for me to be seen by the um the, the devil dogs the the, the, the the cyber kitties the the big the big cat clanks the um yeah you know the big mean cat things oh god <laughs> anyway they need to see you and then you need to live and up until that point in that game, I had managed to avoid them, so they hadn't seen me, so it hadn't triggered the, um, it hadn't triggered the lore segment collection. Um, but then it, at the times when they had seen me and it had triggered the lore collection, I had then died. At which point it resets and so I hadn't actually collected that lore and so what I discovered is that in order to get that particular piece of lore they have to see you and you have to get away and that took some doing and uh, I have since learned some ways to do it but at the time I was just like if they see me they insta kill me and yeah mm. 
Well, they were devil dogs originally, and then Phil just kept drawing them funny. So, you know, I don't know. It was just, that's just how it wound up. Um, art connoisseur. Find all the portraits made by a master. An art connoisseur is someone that can look at the clouds and see the deep sorrow in the bunny's eyes. <laughs> I prefer to go inside before I get wet. <laughs> what the deep sorrow in the bunny's eyes. Oh, and Dingbot Supreme. Assemble the Dingbot army and be supreme. Power rarely goes to your head unless you're alone in a field in a thunderstorm. Oh, good. Good. Let's see. We got Chronomira. Uh, oh, four or more enemies with one death ray blast. There are a couple of places that you can do that. Um, oh, also, I love these little icons here. They're so, they're so nice. Um, I was watching Phil play Hades last year, year before last, and I was noticing that I really think that designing all those tiny little icons for games is such an amazing skill. Uh, I am not, it is not a thing that I have managed to do. Uh, but these all look so good. Um, oh yeah, destroy an enemy with a moving roller clank. That one actually isn't too hard to get. You just have to know to do it. Uh, Master of the Arena, yes, got that one. Uh, defeat all the challenges with a mastery badge in the arena. What, do you have something to prove? Yes, I do. Um, let's see, I think that's about, oh yeah, I've never managed to do this one. I can't get them all to stand under the blocks properly. Um, oh, <laughs> win the game on any difficulty. You did it, now do it again, yay. True Heterodyne, win the game on normal difficulty or higher without decreasing the difficulty. Yeah, well, I mean, okay, sure. Uh, Queen of the Castle. Oh, this is a good face. Your legacy is secured, your enemy is on the run, and your friends are gathered. What, what more could a girl want? Ow, oh, you forgot to put your death ray on charge. Fair enough. Okay, so that's our... Achievements. Oh, we got some lore. Um, hold on. Let's go back. Here's some lore. Oh, it's all of our friends. Sana. It turns out Agatha was not the only one hiding her identity. Sana Wilhelm is actually Sana Trigvasen, sister to the famed gentleman adventurer. Agatha, of all people, can definitely understand the need to hide your family name. Yeah. Let's see, do we have anybody else? Oh, here we go. Othar Trigvasen, a hero to regular people, a crazed maniac to Sparks, namely because he believes he has identified them as the cause of all the world's problems um, and has vowed to destroy them all, including himself. This, combined with his bombastic and cheerful behavior, is easily enough to place Othar firmly in the category of a lunatic. His saving grace is the fact that he is not above making concessions. He has decided that Agatha seems to be a good egg, <laughs> good egg, and believes her suited to be his spunky girl sidekick. Hmm. Great. Fabulous. Okay. <clears throat> Sleepnir is the daughter of the ruler of Little Ireland. When she first met Agatha, she was one of the many students on Castle Wolfenbach and became Agatha's roommate. Her incessant, cheerful behavior made sure that they were quick friends, and she even stood up to the Baron in order to help Agatha escape Castle Wolfenbach. Sleepnir was originally made to enter an arranged marriage set up by the Baron, but eloped with Theo Dumed following Agatha's escape. Hey, kiddo. Chocolate chip pancakes. I made them. Oh. Unfortunately, we're now out of pancake batter. Oh, no. We've got to mix up some more so that we can make the pancake in the rice cooker. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Do it, do it. Make more pancake batter. Um, yeah, my, my kid who's off at college, um, I sent him rice cooker. And um, I got, and of course, instead of making rice, the very first thing that happened was one of these big um, rice cooker pancakes. I get this picture of this enormous like beautiful it, it looked gorgeous and i still haven't made one of my own um hmm? you're, you're you're gonna I, 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 it's, you're fine excuse me phil wants to um 
Don't want to, I might as well do this right on camera this time. Um, hold on. Let's just, uh, boop. There we go. Okay, hang in there a second. Um, <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Um, Yeah, I, I like this. This this is more. Yeah, this is well, good. I didn't you. think you'd let me show the uh, Geister uh, hockey thing. Get family. out, you! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. Like I said, he just wants to get started on the thing. Um, so usually the way that the comics happen is that we kind of talk about uh, what needs to happen next, and then. Um, Phil will kind of lay it out in, uh, in like a, like a storyboard kind of thing. It's it's basically a piece of typing paper that he's like drawn. Like I said, screaming little ovals, little oval faces. Um, here, I'll go. I'll go get one, and I will show you. Um, just hang in there a sec. I'll go get one of the ones that's already happened. Uh, so I won't be giving anything away. These guys aren't screaming, but oh, and then he does it on the back of scratch paper. But there's there's like a um, a page from a couple of days ago, and you can see that it's very very um, it's very scribbly, and it gets really really hard rewritten once the um, once we're looking at the pages because. Um, <laughs> yes, I, uh, <clears throat> I, I frequently still am like, dude, you are on my gaming table. Um, yeah, this is, um, so anyway, that's, that's kind of what, and you can see it's on the back of like, um, a photocopy from an, an old thing. And I kind of, I, I really, really hate that he, he's trying to be all eco-friendly and I appreciate that, but sometimes Phil will do a, like a sketch on the back of, of scratch paper and I'll look at it and I'll go, Oh, that's wonderful. I want to, I want to scan that. I want to use that. And no matter what I do with my scanner, the stuff on the back just shows up and it drives me crazy. Uh, and you never know what is going to be the sketch that I'm like, I, you know, Oh, I want to keep that. Right. It's uh, and, and I, I figured out that if I take, like a piece of black felt, some or, or some kind of very deep, light, catchy black fabric, and I put my I put the paper on the scanner and then put the, the black fabric behind it. It helps. It doesn't completely help, but it helps. It helps me get a better scan. Um, so, and then meanwhile, Phil is like, "Why would you want a scan of that?" And I'm like, "Because it's a really good sketch, and I can use it in graphic design somewhere." But yeah, that's just how it be. All right. So, um, but yeah, I, I have to admit, sometimes I'm kind of shy about showing the, the storyboards because I do a lot of rewriting. I mean, there's just, the storyboards are really, um, to get the gist, to get the idea um, down. And then... Like a lot of times, the characters have a way that they they sound, like a way that they talk, and in the storyboard, like they just it's like they don't they wouldn't talk like that they wouldn't put it like that you know this character wouldn't say it like that like maybe Cross would say it like that because Cross talks a lot like Bill, but uh, you know the others like maybe Princess Nina wouldn't say it like that or, or Zetha would put it differently. And it's 
really like if somebody said well write me a style guide i would be so hard pressed to write a style guide about how this or that person talks because it's all just such a it's just sort of a gut feeling um, i do have trouble with the jaegers the way that the jaegers dialect is written hate writing in dialect and we never should have done it Ugh. but um, since we do it I have noticed over the years that there are different ways that they that we will write certain things um, and there was one point where they were so incomprehensible that I had to really dial it back because it was like, oh, well, this is how it would be written if you wanted it to sound exactly how they're talking. But I would like people to actually kind of have a hope of understanding what they're saying. And uh, I do think I need to get in there and just like re write translations because I know that some of our overseas readers whose first language isn't English sometimes are like, oh God, the Jaegers, thanks for that. <laughs> and I'm like, well, yeah, I should write it out. I, I mean, it would be kind of fun to like text, write it all out in text and have it searchable anyway. Um, I would, I would love to have the whole, the whole comic. That's where someday if I can afford an intern, <laughs> uh, I'll put somebody to, to like, I don't know, what, how, what do you call it? How do you, oh, come to think of it, I think, I think Adobe Acrobat can do it now. I think you, every time, I, when I was making the PDFs for drive through for the latest volumes, it kept trying to look at the pictures and do something where it would like, like make it editable. And I was like, I absolutely do not want you to do this, knock it off, but it does have the capability. That might make my life easier. And it would be really fun to have the comic be searchable. So, hmm, that's a thought anyway. Um, but yeah, um, let's see. So, uh, let me get back to main game. Boop, there we go. And, okay, so yeah, Sleep Near was in an arranged marriage and she was actually like totally good with it. She was like, yeah. I like this guy, and then she found a guy she likes better. So, um, so that's what she's up to. Um, let's see, Theo. Theo is Agatha's cousin. He is the son of Serpentina Mongfish. Yes, okay, we got that right. He is, in fact, the son of Serpentina Mongfish, and not Demonica, like we accidentally said in one of the novels. Oops, sorry about that. Um, I think we fixed it, but um, yeah. But Serpentina is the good sister. She's the nice one. Uh, just just like in the E.T.A. Hoffman story that we stole her name from. <laughs> uh, don't even remember. It was like the three... What was that story called? It was like the three gold pots or something like that. And it was absolutely... If you read it, you're like, this reads like an alchemical recipe. This I don't think this is as much a story as it is. Let's see. E.T.A. Hoffman, uh, three, hmm, anyway, E.T.A. Hoffman is the man who wrote, um, The Nutcracker, among other things. He wrote a lot of really weird, cool stuff, and I, I really like, um, well, I will have to find it later. I'm not going to sit here and do a bunch of research while y'all are waiting for me to finish this, but... Mm. Let's see. Uh, I know I hate to ask people to do my work for me. I suppose I should just ask for. Um, oh, did I did I finish reading? Um, hold on. I miss Theo. Yeah, because I was nattering about Serpentina. Hold on. Uh, the son of Serpentina Mongfish, but lost both his parents at a young age. He knew of no living relatives until he met Agatha. They first met on Castle Wolfenbach, where Theo was one of the many students. He's generally well-liked for his storytelling and carefree personality, but he's also a gifted spark. 
He, along with the rest of the older students, quickly grew attached to Agatha and helped her escape from Castle Wolfenbach. He made his own escape shortly after in the company of Sleipnir O'Hara. So Theo and Sleipnir are currently trapped in Mechanicsburg. They're all frozen in time, but uh, unless we decide that it would be funny to do something else. But at this time, it is, it is canon that they are stuck in there. And... Uh, but they were on their way to, to find um, Theo's father's lost laboratory. And I, I love the idea that in the same way that there are lost temples and lost cities in pulp, I like the idea that out there are many lost laboratories of sparks. And that if you were playing, say, the Girl Genius RPG, which totally exists, actually, like you, you can play the Girl Genius tabletop RPG. It's it's powered by GURPS from Steve Jackson Games. Uh, you could have your adventures go on a pretty traditional dungeon crawl, but it would be a dungeon crawl instead of through some wizard's lair. It would be through some Sparks Lost Laboratory, and it would be great. And uh, yeah, laboratory. And I just think that's fun. Um, there's a lot of that kind of thing out there where it's like, well, what happened here? Ooh, we're not really sure. Ooh. So, all right. So I've been wasting a lot of time this time because uh, we're kind of close to the end. So let's go talk to everybody. Um, oh, you did so good. I knew you had it in you. I hope so, but what about you? Should you be up after that wound? It was barely a scratch. Don't be insulting. She was mewling like a milk-sick puppy, and Gil ordered her to rest. Well, I don't have time for that. Agatha is in dire need of training now that she's a queen. What? Now? Absolutely. But first, we need to find you a battle axe. Ah, that kind of training. Oh, no, I didn't want to read the nursery rhyme. We've read the nursery rhyme. All right. I want to talk to Cross. This place will make a fine base of operations. Oh, made yourself at home? I thought you might have preferred the kitchen. Oh, he did. He was chased away by a flying ladle. Huh. Even a king must recognize where his territory ends. So please, have one of your servants fetch me a tuna filet while I plan our immediate conquest. <laughs> They're going to go conquer the kitchen. Let's see. Oh, here they are. So, what's our plan? Well, I'm actually here to rescue the Baron's son, the one up on the balcony. Wow, you work for the Baron now? Or do you like him? He's kind of cute. Of course not! He's a foul villain! So he's fair game, then. Ahem! <laughs> no, he is not fair game. Sorry, Clay, this may came as, come as a shock, but my real name is actually Sana Trigvasen. Spunky girl sidekick! That's right! I had to keep my real name a secret. Didn't know how people would react if they learned who I really am. Right, no, I get it. All right, so that's those goofballs. Everybody's got a little something to to talk about. So, oh, here they are. Great castle, can I pick my own room? Oh God, she's so cute, I'm just gonna die. <laughs> or would you prefer if we share again? Ha, you're welcome to stay anytime you like. But what brought you here? I'm glad the two of you stuck together at least. So am I. We escaped Castle Wolfenbach with Gil's help, and now we're getting ready for a longer expedition. Thought we'd do some shopping in Mechanicsburg, and then we found you all having fun without us. So, there are three of us cousins now. I'm sorry I missed the reunion. Seems so. Don't worry, you're still my favorite by far. Glad to hear it. It'll make it easier when I need to ask a favor later. Oh, what favor? Uh, family business. Could take a while, but we could use someone to take notes. Ha! I'll let you guys have your fun while I search for the armory. Family business? In a matter of speaking, I'll tell you later. I'm very curious about that, too, because I can figure out... I mean, like, I can make up things, but I wonder what the devs were thinking. I don't actually know. 
Maybe it's about the, um, uh, the, um, the, the, uh, what's it called? Um, not the adventure, the expedition. Maybe it's about the expedition that these guys were planning on going on, but then why wouldn't Sleepier know about it? So, I, I don't know. It's kind of an intriguing hint. Um, oh, here we are. So, who do you think is going to make the first move? Wolfenbach's definitely got this one. Don't underestimate the human cravat. Tarvek's a pig, but he can sweet talk when he needs to. You got me there. Gil could use the practice, but he's a fast learner. Oh, I wouldn't call him Gil. Of course, there's always a chance she'll strap them both to the slab again. <laughs> yeah, want to make it a bet? Oh, dear. <laughs> I'm going to keep my head down with all these sparks around. Probably for the best. All their warbling is giving me a headache. If you're looking for a place you won't be disturbed, my deep systems still need to be looked over. I don't believe this, but the pile of rocks might actually be right. I knew you'd get along eventually. Okay. But not least, we have got the goofballs up on the balcony here. I can't believe the false heterodyne was one of your Parisian doxies, though you never did surround yourself with good company. You're not wrong, old friend. I do recall that one time you were found rum rummaging in the Comtesse's drawers. I was hiding from the pirate madwoman you keep around. I still have scars after she... Don't mind me, I'm not even here. <laughs> Out with it, Sturmvarous. What are you really doing here? I don't know if you've noticed, but it's a war zone out there. I needed a place to hide. Right, and I'm Queen Albia of England. That's a nice picture of Gil. I like that one. Yes, I thought that was the familiar smell of tyranny. I don't think that's how you spell that. And what might be your intentions in this castle? I'm here to help Agatha. Ha! Now who's the fool? I won't deny it, but I think we both knew who's to blame for us both acting like this. On that we can agree. Guys, I'm going to smack you both with my wrench. Okay. It does nothing. It does nothing. Yeah, okay. I wasn't I wasn't wrong about that. All right. Yeah, let's, let's fix that. I'll make a note about tyranny, too. It's important to spell tyranny right while you're pulling up the guillotine. Um, okay, I'm just making a note. Uh, let's see, it's when they talk to Gil, right? When we talk to Gil. Yeah. See, I notice sometimes. All right, so I think we've talked to everybody, and aside from reading all the comics, I think I think we've done everything. I mean, so again, in my first playthrough, when I got to this point, there was still some exploring to do because I hadn't found all the portraits. And just like this time, the last portrait that I hadn't found was the one that was um, around the corner in the... Um, in the the beast pens, so <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I made a note. So let's see. I think that's about it. Is we've got all our guys, and uh, and it's a bit anticlimactic once we've had the credits roll, and I'm walking around talking to everybody. Uh, let's see. I don't think we have anything else to say to the. To the, uh, yeah, no, just, um, I could reset my upgrades, but I don't need to because I have them all. Um, and I could run around and I could try to do a few more, um, of the achievements, but I think for this one, I might not. Um, let's see. 
where are the where are the um the roly the roly clanks? I kind of want to push one at somebody. Uh, let's see. It's the hallway of lightning. I'd forgotten. Oh, this is not where I wanted to be. Oof. Although this is a really good place to get the um, uh, the achievement where you have to hit a bunch of guys with the the death ray because uh, there are a whole bunch of them. Uh, I can't get through here. I can't get through here. Can you go? I'm sorry. Take off your crown and put on your propeller. You can do it. Uh, except this isn't the right way. <laughs> it's just fun to fly the dingbot around. There we go. Let's see. Yeah, I think I've done. I think I've done the whole business at this point. So yeah, the plunder room does have the roly clanks, although. It's easier to get the rolling thing. Oh, jeez, that was a horrible noise. Jeez, that was that was a scary noise. I didn't like it. Ow, hey, fine. Oh, there's a bunch of them over here too. All right, so this is a really good place to. Oh, well, I mean, it would have been a good place to get the, a bunch of them with the, um, with the death ray, but, uh, it didn't happen, so, oh well. And now the death ray is going to take a while to uh, recharge. Ah, uh, here we go. Ah, uh, now just, uh, so it is a little bit early, but I might, um, I might end a little bit early since, uh, I have the game as far as I can tell um, but you know I'll do a little running through and looking at things first uh, next week I will still be streaming although I am not sure what I will be streaming I don't think I want to try to do this on hard mode um, because I'd be here all the time. And I, I really thank you everybody for coming and uh, and for watching me do this. Um, I will announce what I'm planning on doing next. Um, uh, tomorrow or when I know, or tomorrow, um, not tomorrow, when, when I have a better idea of what I'm, I'm going to do. But uh, yeah, I think I'll just, uh, I'll just end it here, so. Ah, gosh, let's see. Ooh, 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 ooh. So thank you everybody for uh, for watching with me. I um, I don't know really what else to say about it. Uh, the game is available on Steam right now and at GOG.com. You can play it on both of those. It's coming out for the Nintendo Switch later uh, this winter. I'm not sure exactly when, but, uh, the, you know, I was told winter. Well, winter means a lot of things. I suspect probably not in time for Christmas, but, you know, it could happen. I, I'm not sure. Um, I haven't actually talked to everybody over there for a while, so I, I've been kind of busy getting ready for this convention that I was at last weekend. So uh, I will be here again next Wednesday. I'm will pick something. Uh, hopefully it'll be something kind of themed to the steampunky world. I'd really like to do some Ratchet and Clank, but for that, I have to figure out how to make my computer talk to an old school television, because that was an old uh, PlayStation 2 title. Um, you know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll give um, one of Rain's titles another... Uh, you know, give that a go and you can see how like Tesla Grad 2 goes. That might be fun. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that that I can play on my on my Macs because yes, I am a heathen and I, I play on the Mac. Uh, and I am very much, yes, next up VVC miniseries. That's right. Like I told you, I want three things. I want the VVC miniseries, the video game and the anime. And, uh, and I got the game, so that's pretty great. And I love the game, 
Uh, I have a lot of fun with this kind of game. I like adventuring and I like um, I like exploring. I still want to write a, um, a visual novel because I think it would be funny, but it would be probably uh, like OCs and original characters and but all going to like Transylvania Polynostic or something like that. So I think that would be very funny. Um, but you know, I'll just do that in my copious free time, right? Uh, <clears throat> so, all right, well, I think, uh, I think if anybody has any questions, get them in quick because otherwise I'm going to um, sign off and I will be back. Like I said, I'll be back next, uh, next week with something i'm not sure what <laughs> oh my goodness you know what i could not kickstart an anime and here is why i am definitely not willing to take everyone's money on something that i don't know how to produce and i do not know how to produce an anime um, i would need to do so much setup work ahead of time to figure out you know, somebody who knows how to make something like that, how you would get it animated, which I understand is incredibly expensive. Uh, I know people, however, are doing stuff like that a little more. Um, the There's, um, what was it called? There's Hell of a Boss um, that I think had a Kickstarter, I think sure has been hotel i don't know if they did or not well no i think hell of a bus got picked up i i am not really up on my um on my current cartoon lore um but uh yeah i do not want a cat party yay <laughs> uh, i i just i would feel like um i would need a whole i've seen so many kickstarters happen and then just kind of Oops, we didn't actually know what we were getting into, but thanks for all the money. We and I'm like, yeah, no, if I'm going to ask for money, it's going to be for something that I know I can deliver, even if I take forever. Uh, which brings me to um, the I am like a day's work away from having all of the United States Kickstarter stuff packed for the last one and shipped and out the door. Uh, and then I actually have a couple that came back that I'm going to have to go contact the people and say, hey, your, your package came back. Where would you like me to resend it? Uh, that always happens though, that's pretty normal. And um, then I work on finishing the international stuff, which I did get a pretty good chunk of the international stuff done before I started having trouble with um, whatever is going on and i think ship station has fixed that now but i i ran into a, a problem with the label printing where it wasn't letting me buy labels and i think it had something to do with the way the custom stuff was set up and so while i <laughs> while i wrote to ship station and said nah what the heck i just kept working on the u.s stuff and so uh, now that i am almost done with the u.s stuff uh, and i have to go back and check with ship station because i'm pretty sure they fixed it but i want to make sure so that's that's pretty much where i'm at with that and then i can do another one yay although probably before i do another um another book kickstarter i have some pins that i want to do and i'll probably do the pin kickstarter like as soon as i can um, even while I'm still shipping the international books, they can't ship with the books anyway because the backs of the pins mess up the books. They're pointy and they, they, uh, they're, they're, it's, it's a nuisance to try to get them all packed together. So I just don't anymore. I used to try, but it took like three times as long. So, uh, so yeah, I've got some pins. Um, we were talking about doing a medal for the previous Kickstarter and a medal for the upcoming Kickstarter because we love doing the medals but they do slow down the actual book Kickstarter, so we're doing them separate now. Uh, and then Phil said, well, Kaya, why don't you draw some chibis of Franz and his happy little adventuring friends? And, and so I'm like, well, that's a good idea. I can do that. I can draw some funny little pin designs of, of Franz and his little, his little uh, not D&D, we promise, adventure friends. So we'll see how that goes. That's, that's the uh, state of the thing at the moment, so. All right. 
so uh yeah otherwise <laughs> i'm like all right good night everyone i think i'm going to sign off now um and get a little snack before my kid calls from college um uh, after looking at those pictures of the the giant pancake made in the rice cooker i kind of want one uh, god it looked good oh so nice uh, i guess that's just the thing i don't know if he's even made rice in it yet i think just pancakes i think pancakes happened so <laughs> all right so catch you next time six o'clock um on wednesday uh and i know i said something about doing some reading for halloween uh i don't know if i'll get to that or not but if i do i'll talk about it on social media and on the main girl genius website and here so good night um and i'm going to run away now and say thank you for reading um, this really is a lot of fun. I kind of need to get one of those little um, pads that makes funny noises. Um, so, okay. Goodbye.